Everyone, it's Fire Renique here. Welcome back to episode 11 on the American map here. We got some, what are these, like the lily mowers or whatever the heck these things are, and the 7310R. We are renting this combination of mowers and stuff right now. So let's hop in this tractor. And let's go ham on more mowing stuff today. So today's just basically going to be like a mowing day. We're going to get everything mowed down and then we'll eventually get to tedding. Wrong way. Slow down there, buddy. Want to piss the car off? That's how you do it. Just wait a while. They'll honk at us. No? Fine. But usually I like to honk at you. It's kind of it's kind of fun and weird at the same time. So, I messed around with old... Why is there a seed, a fertilizer... A liquid fertilizer and herbicide tanks here. Carson. I tell you guys. I messed around with OBS here and I changed a few settings. Hopefully it dropped some of this lag off because you guys were saying the lag was a little bad there a while ago. So we're going to fix that. We got our lane way we're making in. Robber. Should be able to run this stuff. Let's go. We can mow about 13 mile an hour, plus we're mowing what? A couple feet at a time? 15, 10 feet. So we're going ham on it right now. We're just going to mow everything up quick. That way it's done. That way we can get to get all the hay made for these cows. We might send some back for the horses. We'll see. We'll see where things get to, but we're going to mow everything down. Anywho, uh, worst comes to worst, if we get a lot more of uh, grass and hay mixer and stuff like that than we, we need, we'll just sell it. But we're going to have to get some silage here somewhere. Or else we buy silage bales. What would you guys prefer better? Let me know by uh, letting me know if you guys want silage bales or actually make silage. That's going to be a long process right there, making the silage in here. Because we're kind of a small farm, not too big of a farm really yet, but it's whatever. So I guess we can't mow this outside bit right there. Let's go up here. Down, down, around. Skip. I know I'm bad at singing, so I should stop singing, boys and girls. But I don't think we really need to keep this big of a tractor yet. We may keep these mowers, and we could probably throw these mowers on, like, the 8R or something along those lines one of these days. There'll be a tractor around the farm that will be able to we'll use these mowers on. Even like the 6M probably could, could probably change it for that. It'd probably run these things good, but so the neighbor had it sitting there. He was he wanted to demo one a week ago from him, so they finally got one brought up to uh, the states of Iowa over here. We're going to call this Iowa. So he finally got it brought up here and then he used it for what he used it for, like a month. He had so much uh, hay to make and everything. And then he's like, no, that's all I need it for. He just wanted to rent it. He rents one every year, apparently, so. I was like, okay. So they let me try it out. They asked me if I wanted to try it out. And I was like, sure, why not? Send her. So we they were sitting up at the shop, and they told me to hop in her and go. Here's the key and go, here you go. Just bring her back with a full tank of fuel. That's all they said. So they said they would uh, probably call me when they someone else needed it or else they said you can probably use the 7R for a bit if you guys want to try it out. So we're going to put the 7R to use and we're going to write the hours up on it pretty good just because we don't own this tractor, right? We're leasing it, right? So if we're, we were renting it, then it's a different story. They'd pay us by, or it'd cost by the hours. But since we're leasing it from them for month or so it's basically time to uh, just write the hours up on her as much as you can 
put as many hours on it so it's not all going on your own pieces of equipment or tractors or whatever you guys decide to lease from them. So. Gotta get these little misses here. This is a lot easier than that disc vine, so. Hopefully you guys are okay with me with buying this piece of equipment right here and we'll just be all good of uh, using this today. Here we go. Where else can we go? Just the mob run down here quick. Here we go. It's easier to do these couple of rows right here behind this tree like this. And then turn around and go the other way. Just because it's a lot easier with this tree. Because this tree is kind of a pain in the rear end. Trust me, I've mowed with this by around before. And you guys see when we started making hay out of it first, we've had some problems with it. So it's time to change things up and experiment it. And now we're freshness at mowing hay in Farmson. If you guys want to call us that. I guess we're going to mow this on an angle. Won't hurt. Flip this guy around. Might end up breaking the old tighter out and we'll start Ted. I got an idea. We're going to run to the farm when we get this field done and hook the tether on the back and see if it'll work. I'm thinking it will. I'm hoping it will. So this 7R is basically like the 6M and all of them. It's basically the exact same thing, but just a little more horsepower in the under the hood. So we'll rent it for a bit or lease it for a bit. I don't know why I always like saying rent, but lease, I mean. So we're going to put probably about five hours on this thing. Probably end up throwing this guy in the grain cart. Uh, what else can we do with it? Like we're going to put this thing to use. So let me know if I can keep these mowers for our, the cow farm and stuff, and we probably will get rid of the disbine. If you guys are curious what I'm saying by the disbine, is, is that's the little toe-behind mower with a hitch and everything. That's what I call a disbine, a little mower. It's a new haul in one, so that's what I call my disbine. Everyone probably has different names for everything around here. I just go what I go by, you guys can tell me what you guys call stuff, and if it sounds better than what I call it, I'll call it that. But if not, I'll just call it what I call it, you know? Gosh, the 7 is already dirty. Should have rented a case. That's probably close enough to that tree. Let's whip this guy around. And off to the next. I was thinking about buying the big 
chrome M, but I like the mower style better than the big chrome M, unless you're doing like a big, big operation of cattle. Then it's more suitable, I feel like, but for the size of farm, what we're just getting into cows, I felt like it's easier to probably just rent these mowers for the time being. We're definitely going to be buying straw this year for the cattle. So that's what's going to happen with the cows. We'll buy straw. Square bales, because we're going to round bale all the straw at the home farm. Because all we got is the home farm for oats, so that's it. So we'll just end up uh, buying straw. we got lots of money right now. But I'm going to mess around with my save game here and try and get rid of that stuff for next week sometime. Like, I'm recording stuff back to back here Saturday and Sunday. That's when I mostly record a lot of stuff and mostly a little bit on Friday night but and a little bit during the week to just keep caught up. But that's about it unless I... I got a little behind in the weekend so I do apologize guys that there wasn't as... I haven't been posting so hopefully Monday Monday of this week or it has been Monday. This is probably going up like on Wednesday or something like that so... Sorry I didn't post nothing on Sunday but I finally got around to get a video out on to you guys on Saturday. So. Don't even worry, I'll be back posting. It's just I've been busy washing all the equipment up. Taking a little break. Been sore. Tired. From washing stuff all day. Like, that's literally what you do is you get home from school. You would uh, go get the pressure washer out and you just go start ham on pressure washing every piece of equipment that you got to wash. So there won't be, uh, basically, yeah, we don't do too much really now until, what, May? Basically May everything starts. It just depends on the spring. How the spring, if it's warm and dry, then we might get in the fields early. But I forget when we started working ground last year. I think it was, like, May, 1st of May. It doesn't take too long. It usually takes us probably about two weeks if we go ham on everything. Because we're running, like, a 16-row corn planter. Uh, 36 foot cultivator, and what are we running for VT? 25 footer VT. We probably could be pulling bigger, but. And then I think it's like a 15 foot ripper. It's about everything how we, for wit. So it's pretty decent. What are you guys running for planters? If you guys are even bigger. Like, I know a lot of people are on 24, 16, 12s. Not too many are on 8, I know, anymore around here. I'd probably say in our, around my area here in Ontario, it's mostly, like, 12 up. There's one guy that's got 24, maybe 2 or 3. But otherwise, it's mostly 12, 6 up. Like, there isn't too many people with, like, a an 8-row corn head anymore. Or an 8-row, uh planner. We pick with an 8. Because it's equal with the 16, right? But I tell you, it does not go fun when you're trying to pick... What are we picking? 12 row planner. We were trying to pick with an 8 for custom work, and it didn't go too well. Trust me. Let's back to scum back up. There we go. Back that guy in there. You gonna work? Come on. Shucks. I'm gonna say we could just go boom. But okay. We'll head over to uh, up at field 17, I guess. Take this road and go see where it goes. Let's go touring. Probably a bad idea with a big tractor like this to go touring with it. You've never been up in here. Rock there. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, this was a bad idea. Ooh, we just put flip to there. 
We're going this way. Guess that was a dead end. Wish I wouldn't do that one. Let's try another way. This way. What's that, rock? Oh, it's stump. Let's go this way now. Now we go. Well, there's a tree. Can we just drive over it? Or just push it? See how it works. Another one. I swear people put them in the way on purpose, I think. Hey, that's a little shortcut. Just do a little clear removal and we're all set. Clear that rock back a little or chip it away. We'll get rid of it. Let's run up here. Get this field all mowed up here and take this guy back to the main farm and we'll get the 6M on the tether and we'll go Ted. And then we'll have to call the dealership up and see if they got a square baler sitting around. Because we're gonna go square, so we're gonna buy a big square baler. And we're gonna put her on the 8R. Because this field is mostly gonna be up here, and then we're gonna buy it. So what we're gonna do up here is we're basically gonna mow it all, ted it, bale it, you know, and then we're gonna get the sheds and everything, all that stuff afterwards. There we go. As soon as it lets me uh, start mowing here, it'll be all good. I'm not going to mow up on this steep hill because the tether and stuff will not like it. See, the mower's not even liking it. There we go. That's what's somewhat liking it. We're taking the full, uh, we're getting all the hay that we can or the grass. So there's a bit of, going to be a bit of hay bills. I thought this field was a little smaller, but... I guess because of the hay, right, you can get closer to the outsides than what you could farm it. Yeah, because where is the feed to the field? Yeah. We're plowing, like, literally. You guys can see the edge of the field right there. See how it's kind of like the dark spot kind of a thing? You guys can totally see that. So, I mean, there's going to be lots of hay here, and we might not actually have to go buy hay. I'm going to be happy if we don't. We may not get to 50 head of cows yet, but I'm hoping around 30 at least. 30, 25. Somewhere in there. We'll see how many head of cows we can get to. But yes, we're going to pearl. I'm not sure what we're going to truck cows with yet. To be certain as well. I wonder how far we can go down there. I forgot, you got to buy the land. It's not like 17... You can just go mow around ditches and make hay off the whole map and be all good. That's what a lot of people did anyways. I feel like that was pretty common on the Xbox. Like That's what a lot of people did, even what I did on the Xbox when I played up 17. Is I just started mowing around the outside of ditches and then putting it in the silos or in biogas. And then compacting it and sell silos and make money. That's how I got a big account on the Xbox. Just keep doing it over and over. Went a little too far, too far over. She's all good. I don't know. Do you guys think I should be using my steering wheel a lot more? Or do you guys like how we're... I kind of switched between both... i got to get my steering wheel set back up to the actual right trolls and stuff, so I'm going to work on that probably here yet tonight. Get them all set back up as normal so I remember what stuff was. Basically, as 17, they're a little bit different than what they were in 17 right now. Like, buttons have got all switched around. So I want to get that basically the same and so I don't have to get used to all the different controls. Just for some weird, some weird reason, I go back to 17. I don't think I will. Do you guys want me to go back and play a little bit of 17 here and there? Let me know. You guys probably want to because there's lots of good mods in there. Like, I found a streamer the other night. He was streaming FS17. I was like, wow. And there was, like, 
hundred people watching it maybe at once, I think I've seen. I wasn't paying that much attention, but it's whatever. We should do a hot custom uh, bailing crew here. That might be a good idea to do. I think one guy told me to do something like that. Should we do like a custom bailing series or hay series? Is we get a whole bunch of different random people and they'd be farmers in here and we would just mow their land down. Probably get like three or four of us just running mowers and a couple running tedders and stuff. That'd be pretty cool. I think we should do that one of these days. There we go. A little wide there. We'll get her narrowed up. Just keep her trucking up and down the field we come. But I kind of wish there was a way that Giants would have made it so if you left the grass out in the field for a while, it would dry one side, then you'd have to come through with a rake and rake it up. That'd be really good. Or just spend time up for that too. But even ho, that would that'd be really nice. Like especially like if you're a real farmer and you want to play realistic as possible, there's where you need it. Field's not the straightest, so I'm not sure where the cow yard's probably going to go. The cow yard barn is probably going to go somewhere right in the middle, and then have hay and sheds on each side of them. So, probably put like little red sheds or something like that, just for like one to be in hay, one to be in straw, and then probably just like a machine shop or something here to store like the mixer in there and the wheel loader or a skid steer or something, just kind of clean the stuff up. We're going to need like probably going to need a skid steer up here just for loading the bales and all the time. We don't want something too big unless we're going to get a big mixer, I'm not sure. There we go. Who doesn't like running a 7 iron? So if you guys enjoyed this video so far, smash that like button and let me know what was your favorite part of the video and I'll maybe do some more of it. So guys, I think that's probably going to be all what we're going to do today. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe, if you're not subscribed, don't forget to turn on post notifications, and don't forget to go and check out all of our videos, and there is some also real life farming in here somewhere, go and check probably about a month to two to go, and we'll see you next time, hope you guys enjoyed this video, thanks guys.